What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards of Comics here. This one, not gonna lie, flew under my radar a little bit. This came out, this release came out on the 18th. Uh, I'm recording this the evening of the 19th, and it's just now coming across my desk. Yes, it's only been a day, but I'm just surprised I haven't seen more people talk about this. So, Panini, our old palace Panini, have announced some changes to redemptions, specifically around NFL only redemptions. If you have an outstanding NFL redemption for a low and mid tier player, more on that in a second. Uh, it sounds like you're not getting it to me. Panini America is launching a special NFL Mosaic Sparkle Redemption Pack to replace low and mid-tier NFL redemptions. This will not impact high-end. Uh, they're still working on those. There is nothing customers with NFL redemptions need to do. Customer service will begin shipping these packs out to customers with outstanding NFL redemptions later this week using the address on file. So it, later this week is like, today as you're watching this so make sure your address is up to date uh but unless you have something high end it sounds like you're getting a sparkle pack from mosaic so good luck in your brock purdy wheel spins uh i you know i don't have any outstanding nfl redemption so this affects me not at all and let me circle back on something before we kind of dig too deep into this what is high end they don't say purposely, very purposely. So low and mid tier players, this will not impact high end defined high end. High end to me is one thing. High end to someone else is another thing to someone else. It's another thing. High end could mean a $500 for some people. A $500 card is high end for some people. A, $10,000 card is might not be considered high end. Like where's a roundabout dollar limit that they're putting on that. And once again, I have no real dog in this race. Uh, this feels kind of crappy in my opinion. Uh, you know, you, you bought a box at some point in time or worse yet purchased a redemption on the secondary market for a particular player probably because you wanted said player or said card for said player. Submitted it. Waited. And now you're getting a random sparkle mosaic card. Uh, the checklist is on here. You can find this on their blog. Uh, you know, there's some nice looking parallels. They're cool looking cards, but I'm sure they'll sell for a decent amount. In all honesty, like some of this stuff will probably sell for more than what some of the redemptions would have sold for, like truth be told. But I have to imagine anyone waiting out a redemption, especially if it's an old one for a particular player, they're doing it for a very valid reason, probably because they collect the player and or they really wanted a player. They really wanted the card. And now you're forcing them to take a random sparkle pack. And originally when someone bought that box whatever it was however many years ago it could have been last year this year five years ago depending on when the redemption was outstanding they got the redemption as a guaranteed auto hit in the box most likely it's usually what they're in there for you know box guaranteed one auto per box on average and you opened it up and you got a redemption card and you probably felt bad about your life you sent it in and you waited five years and felt worse about your life but you really, really wanted that Will Greer auto. And then now it's time to get it. And they say, no, no, you get a sparkle pack. So I have a feeling people are gonna be pissed about this. Some people it's probably gonna work out for the better for. You're gonna get one of these packs, you're gonna hit a purdy or something other really good and you're gonna instantly flip it and sell it for a ton of money. If you get a purdy out of this, you could probably go buy who knows what. You go get a nice new car. Uh, if you hit a short print mosaic sparkle purdy. If the base card's going for 40 bucks, the super short print redemption only ripping you off 
is got to go for a Honda Accord at minimum. You know, maybe, maybe a coupe. I don't think they make a Honda Accord coupe anymore, but maybe you can have a special order one if you hit a Purdy mosaic. So what I'm curious for on this one, if you are one of the people affected by this, I want to know how you're feeling. If you have an NFL redemption sitting out there and you're about to get a sparkle pack for it, or worse yet, you're not sure because we don't know what high end means. How are you feeling right now? And I know people are going to yell and scream in the comments about this is blah, blah, blah. We're going to sue them. This is this. Uh, people tried that already and it got basically thrown out. I don't remember the specifics of that court case. Uh, go look at Lesko's Twitter timeline. And I probably did a video on it at one point in time. But that case got lost. People tried. People went after Panini for redemptions. And I'm about 95% sure it went down in flames. And that's the reason that they could do stuff like this now. Uh, like I said, I do not remember the specifics on that. So if, I, if someone remembers or has the details, feel free to list those down below. Uh, but yeah, if you were impacted by this, please let me know how you're feeling. What were you waiting for? What was the card you were waiting for? And how do you feel about getting a sparkle pack? Like I said, I feel like most people that still have outstanding redemptions are probably waiting for a reason, either because it's very high end or something that means something to them. I'll tell you what, like if I just pulled a random player out of a box and sent it in and, you know, was guaranteed to auto or whatever, I'd be mad. Like I'd be a little mad for sure. Depends on the player. If I went out and bought a redemption for a player that I collect or maybe a, a set that I collect or a parallel that I collect or whatever, then I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed in that case. So like I said, I, I'm, I'm very curious for your thoughts if you are directly impacted by this. And listen, this is just for bat or NFL. Who's to say basketball is not next? So if you have NBA redemptions out there, now nah, this, I have no, no inside information. This is just me speculating. But if they're willing to do this for football, why wouldn't they be willing to do it for other sports? Soccer, racing, WWE, uh, wrestling, whatever else they got. But basketball would be the other big one. They have been trying to purge these redemptions off their books for months now, whether it's to get them off the books before they sell to Fanatics or some other reason. Really, the last six months or so, they have been aggressively trying to get redemptions off their books as much as they can. Uh, and they kind of, like I said, they kind of slipped this one in. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked I did not see anyone talking about this. Or if I did, or if people did, I may have just missed it. My bad. Uh, but I saw this pop up on Pac-Man's IG, actually, and figured it was worth discussing. Because I figured if I missed it, some of you may have missed it as well. But one, go check to make sure your address is up to date. And then two, uh, Hopefully you don't have any NFL redemptions left, or maybe this, like I said, maybe you're excited about this. I really don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. That's all I got for you boys and girls today. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.